Hey guys, this is Eric from Mindful Trader. I get asked this question all the time. Do I offer text alerts or email alerts when I post stock picks? The answer is no, I don't. Uh, and to my mind, you don't really need them. I, I feel like you can just check my stock picks page maybe you know a, a couple times a day and be able to see the picks and benefit from them in a way that's similar to the way I benefit from them. I've done a study um, that shows that even if you're delayed entering a trade from the time I post it, uh, that the, the profitability could be similar. Uh, and so that, not only that, but it's I, I do swing trades uh, where, where you know these trades typically last like a week or so. Uh, and so it shouldn't it shouldn't be something where the minute I post the stock pick, you should that, that you would need to feel a sense of urgency to get into the trade or, or to review it to possibly get into it. Um, so that's why that's that's why I feel like you don't need to have uh, a, an alert system to alert you right when I make the trade. That said, I can acknowledge everybody's different, and some people may want an alert. Um, this video is going to show you ways that you could set up your own alert mechanisms if you wanted to. Um, so right now I'm looking at the web page for uh, my stock picks. This is where I post stock picks for people who are members of the service. It's called Eric's Live Positions. If you go to my account and you click Eric's live positions, then you'll see these uh, positions. These are the trades I make. And basically what you can do is you can set up, uh, you could set up an extension on your browser if you want. Uh, and there's other options that I'll talk about in a little bit. But if you set up an extension on your browser that kind of checks this page and looks for when there's changes made to the page, it can alert you. You can set it up and configure it to alert you. And I found one example of one, and I'll just walk you through the setup process for that one uh, and talk about it. So first of all, I, I saw this article. This is just one article. It's some company who posted, what are the best web page change detection and notification software tools? And if you really want to set up your own personal alerts for when I, for when that page gets updated, that, that would be the type of software or, or tool that you might be looking for. And it has a list here of different options. This one at the top here, it's called Web Alert. That uh, apparently can send alerts to an Android phone. I haven't tested that software. I don't, I don't know anything about it. I don't know how well it works. So that's, I'm, I'm not speaking to how well these things work, but I am saying this is a, an article that gives, it looks like, yeah, 23 different options. So there are definitely softwares out here that provide this sort of a service. So I will post this URL on the website and in the description of this video so you can check it out. But you can, you can search for this whatever way you want. I'm just giving you ideas on how you could go about doing this. Uh, there is one in particular, though, that I just tried before this video, and now I'm going to set it up right now. It's called Page Probe. So if you Google, you could Google Page Probe and you're looking for the, I, I'm using Chrome right now, that's my browser. You can use whatever browser you want, and I'm not, I'm not sure if Page Probe is available as an extension for other browsers. If you highly prefer using other browsers, you can look through their extensions and see, see you know, what sort of uh, tools that they have that provide the same sort of a service. Uh, but I'm, for today, I'm just gonna model out Page Probe because I just tested it and it worked when I tested it. Um, so I'm going to add to Chrome. I'm on, this is for Page Probe. It's a page monitoring tool. They have a little video here that shows how it works and they explain how it works. And it monitors, monitors and detects changes on web pages. So you can set up an, this, this uh, extension to alert you when there's a change to that web page, to my live, position, live positions page if you want. So I clicked add to Chrome. It gives you this one final like confirmation. Are you sure you want to do it? It can read your data and possibly change your data it says I'll say yes add the extension and I get a little confirmation up here that it's been added it's that little shield use this extension by clicking on this icon manage your extensions by clicking extensions in the tool menu okay so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of hid back there I'm gonna click this puzzle icon this is a way to see all my extensions and I'm gonna go down to page probe and there's nothing really to see right now. I can go into this general folder, but there's nothing to see here. This is where you would see information if you had already configured 
the, uh, uh, the, the page that you want to be monitored. But it says no trackers to find it. Visit a website you want to monitor and right click an element and select track content to track its value. And so I'm going to go to the live positions page. I'm in Chrome. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh the live positions page. And then I'm going to highlight the whole page. And I'm going to do that by hitting Control A. You know, if you wanted, you could just, you know, click and scroll down and highlight the whole thing. Uh, or you can just do Control A, which is what I'll do. And right click it. And you'll see that there is an option when you right click it. And I right, right clicked the highlighted text there. There's an option for track content. That option is there because we just installed Page Probe. So I'm going to click that. And you can see that there's some options that come up for you here. Um, so it, it looks like it kind of auto fills in everything that you have here. And let's see here. The scanning interval is the thing I want to draw your attention to. I'm going to change it just for now to be 30 seconds. I don't think, you know, again, I, I don't think it needs to be scanned that regularly. I can't speak to how this will impact your computer's resources if you're scanning it that actively. It may be that something more along the lines of five minutes or 10 minutes or an hour is okay. You get to make that decision on your own. But I'm going to set it for 30 seconds specifically so I can run a test while you guys are here watching and so you can see how it works. I'll set it to 30 seconds. And now under the action, we're going to add uh, some stuff here. So we have, I'm going to have play audio as one, and it's going to be an alarm sound. And I'm going to ask, also add show notification. I'm hit save. So now I save, and then you should be able to hear it's making a sound of some sort. That's its alert sound. And they do that right when you first configure an alert. Okay, so that's just kind of uh, a way of confirming that, okay, this thing works. And if you go here, and now if we go into the general folder, you can see here, this is showing us um, that this page is now being monitored. Now, before I go any further, I want to tell you, you have to be logged in. So this live positions page is behind the login on the Mindful Trader website. So for that page to be scanned, you have to be logged in. So, you know, you have to kind of regularly check to make sure that you're logged into that page or else the scan will likely not work. Um, so anyway, page probe, it's kind of working in the background every 30 seconds. It's checking. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to make a, a, a change to the page and let's see if we get an alert. Okay. So let's see, it shows last changed at 1109. That's actually right when we set it up and now it's 1110. Let's just see what happens here. So I go to Eric's live positions and I, I, I just did this before the video so I could test and be ready for this. There is a trade I made on Tesla, TSLA back uh, more than a month ago and it's it's showing in my trade history right now. So this is on the live positions page just kind of for reference information but it's but if I make a change just for a moment just as a test to this information it I doubt it would affect anybody and if it did it it would it would be a negligible impact because this is just historic data and I'm only going to change it by a penny. I'm going to change the entry price instead of being $870 even I'll change it to 87001. And I will do that right now and let's see what happens. So I just changed it. Let's just verify on the page itself. You can see now it shows 87001. And so there's now been a change made to this page. Now let's wait and let's see if a an alert comes through to notify us that there's been a change made to this page. Oh. There it is right there. And so you can see Page Probe just just gave us an audible alert to notify us that this page that the page we're monitoring has been changed. And so if you're working at your computer and you're using Chrome, if Chrome is what if you're okay using that, that that gives you an alert every time this page gets updated. And so that is one way you can set up your own alerts uh, for my stock picks. And let's see, I will refresh this. Actually, I don't need to. It shows when it was last changed right here, uh, just to confirm. So there you go. Page Probe is an example of an extension you could use. You can probably pick from any of the uh, any of the tools listed either on this page or, or any other ones you can find uh, and set up your own alert. So just because I don't 
send out alerts doesn't mean you can't set up alerts. You can configure them if you'd like to. Um, so this is just one example. I hope that helped. If you have any questions, you can always email me, eric, E-R-I-C, at mindfultrader.com. Thanks, guys.